Begin your bikini waxing by correctly prepping the area. Move the leg into the proper position that is not only comfortable for the client, but will also allow the skin to remain taut throughout the waxing process. Next, clean the skin by applying Rika's Cotton Milk Pre-Wax Gel to a cotton round and clean the area to be waxed. This gel ensures the skin is free of dirt, oil, and sweat and removes 95 to 98% of all bacteria on the skin. If you notice that your client has extra oil or moisture on the skin, it is important to clean the area twice to ensure that the skin is clean and dry prior to waxing. Thoroughly dry the area by blotting it with a tissue. This ensures that the wax will adhere properly to the hair for best results. If you still notice that there is moisture on the skin or a lot of humidity in the air, you can apply a thin layer of powder to absorb the excess moisture. Rika's Brazilian Film Wax should be set between 50 and 60 degrees Celsius for proper consistency. The correct temperature may vary from room to room and heater to heater. Using a larger spatula, begin applying the wax. For best results, the thickness should be about twice as thick as Rika's liposoluble wax and about half as thick as a typical hard wax. Wait about one to two seconds for the wax to dry and press firmly on it to ensure proper adhesion. Hold the skin taut and remove in the opposite direction. Be sure that the bulb of the hair has been removed. If not, Review the steps to be sure that all procedures were followed correctly. Repeat these steps to the next area. Be sure that the edges are nice and even all around for clean removal. Apply the wax, press firmly, and hold the skin taut. If you are not using the applicator for removal, lift the end with your fingers and remove it in the opposite direction of the hair growth. Notice that the wax is still very flexible, unlike a typical hard wax. This ensures that the wax will not break during removal, nor will the hair underneath it. If the wax breaks, the application may have been too thin. You'll notice that when working with the film wax, it is always better to work in more rectangular sections rather than a square section. In this case, because the wax was applied with the same thickness all the way around, it's even hard to lift it with the finger. Then, when removing because of the square application, not all the wax will be removed because the strength will not be the same through a square size as it would be with a rectangular shape. If there is a large area of wax left behind, you can simply go over it again with another application of wax. Follow the same removal procedures. If you chose to use the film wax in a larger area, Again, remember to apply in a longer, thinner section. Follow all the same removal procedures, except use several pulls throughout the long section of wax rather than one long pull. This ensures that the same strength is used for each section. If you use just one long pull, the strength of the pull will be a lot less by the middle and end of the pull than it was at the beginning, which may cause the hair to break or not be properly removed. Continue working in sections to complete waxing the area. If you are using the applicator in the removal, be sure to press down on it firmly as there is wax underneath it as well. Just be sure that there is not a large amount of wax under the applicator or it will not dry as quickly as the rest of the wax and therefore will not be removed properly. Using the applicator in the removal process allows for a more comfortable experience as the wax is removed in one simple step. The client will notice that this is a much more enjoyable and less painful waxing experience than they've had with other waxes, leaving their skin hair free and less red and irritating. When you are finished waxing, clean the area by spraying the avocado post epil lotion on a cotton round and wipe the area clean. This will not only remove any wax residue, but calm, soothe, and nourish the skin.